E aí, pessoal, beleza? Eu tive que trocar de link porque deu uma caída aqui. Certo? Deixa eu ver se todos viram. Certo, pessoal? A página que nós vamos fazer é essa daqui, ó. Não. Essa aqui é para reescrever a, o que você entendeu do texto usando o seu próprio vocabulário. Então, para isso, eu vou passar o difer a diferença dos dois em inglês. Eu tive que interromper aqui o... Coitado, Thiago. Vai ter que ver o vídeo duas vezes. É o jeito. Sinto muito, amigo. Sinto muito, amigo. British English versus American English pronunciation from EspressoEnglish.net You might be able to recognize a British accent or an American accent, but do you know the details of the pronunciation differences? This lesson will teach you some of the major differences between British and American English, although there are some variations depending on what region of the country the speaker is from. British and American English have some differences in the stress of certain words. Listen to the pronunciation, first the British English, and then the American English. Adult Adult Ballet Ballet Brochure Brochure Garage Garage Vaccine Vaccine Advertisement Advertisement Hospitable. Hospitable. Some words ending in I-L-E are also different. Agile. Agile. Fertile. Fertile. Hostile. Hostile. Mobile. Mobile. Versatile. Versatile. The sound of the letter A is also different in some words where the British pronounce it ah and the Americans pronounce it ah. Listen to the difference. Bath. Bath. 
laugh, laugh, class, class, chance, chance, ask, ask, after, after, can't, can't, example, example. The sound of the letter R is also a little bit different. The R is pronounced stronger in American English. Listen to the difference. Hard, hard. Were, were. Ear, ear. Pure, pure. More, more. Chair, chair. Bar, bar. Words ending in ization are also pronounced differently. Civilization, civilization. Organization, organization. Authorization, authorization. Globalization, globalization. The verb form of all these words ends in eyes. In both British and American English, it's pronounced globalize, but British English continues this same pronunciation in the noun form, globalization, and American English changes the sound of the letter i, globalization. Finally, the t sound in the middle of the word can be different in British and American English. In this situation, Americans often pronounce the letter T like a quick D sound. Listen to the difference. Better, better. Water, water. Hated, hated. Writing, writing. Bottom, bottom. Native, native. Artificial, artificial. Notice, notice. If you want to improve your pronunciation and spoken English in the next thirty days, register for the American English Pronunciation Course beginning April fifteenth at EspressoEnglish.net. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I am here today with Cheryl and Zoe. So you guys definitely know Cheryl. She's been on my channel before. She's actually in my most popular video ever to date, US UK accent challenge, mm -hmm. um, which we're kind of refilming today, except with the addition of Canada. <laughs> we have Zoe here. I just met her a few days ago. We've been having so much fun hanging out in Paris all together. So I will put their channels in the top of the description box down below. So make sure you check them out and subscribe. That like you just said, oh, uh, my phone's on the nightstand. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So what would you call? I probably call it a bedside table. Bedside table. Bedside yeah. table. Yeah. Okay, okay. I would, I would probably say nightstand. I mean, I've heard bedside table before. But mm. That's quite long. That's the thing. Like you often understand each other, but it's just not something you use. Mm -hmm. Sometimes things do come up, and you're like, "What was that, <laughs> that you just said?" Like for example, what do you use if you are writing something with pencil? And you need to correct it. What would you use to make it? Okay, you go first. Eraser. Eraser. Rubber. Okay, rubber means something else. Yeah. I'm not gonna say it on this channel. <laughs> it's a PG channel. Yeah. But well, what would you call, for example, um, when if a baby's crying, you want to put it something in their mouth to stop them crying? What would you call that? A soother. I would say a nooker or a pacifier. A dummy. What? <laughs> Stroller. A buggy. 
Buggy, yeah. Okay, buggy, I know some people use to call the thing you use at the grocery store. Yeah, definitely. I used to be a buggy girl. You call it a buggy? <laughs> yeah. In Canada, you call it a buggy. Okay. Buggy. So I know it? that that's regional in the U.S. for sure, but I'm from the north and we would definitely say shopping cart. I call it a trolley. Trolley, I've never, yeah. Trolley, no. Trolley, like, comes behind a train or something. I don't know. Right. Trolley. Yeah, I think, like, the things you have in San Francisco. Those yeah, are yeah, trolleys. trolley. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you call a carbonated beverage? Fizzy drink. I would say soda. Or pop. Pop. <laughs> pop, really? Yeah, yeah, definitely pop. Never soda. Now, some people in America say pop. I think they say pop in northern Wisconsin and in Minnesota. Minnesota. Um... They say pop, but otherwise... I, mean, I think people, some people in English call it pop. Really? Sometimes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Speaking of pop, what do you call a popsicle? A lollipop. Like a frozen yeah. one. A frozen popsicle. Okay, an ice lolly. Ice lolly. <laughs> ice yeah. lolly. Ice, you say popsicle? Yeah. Okay, popsicle. Yeah. But is popsicle a brand? I think so. so I like, think it What is. would we call it if it wasn't? Like... Italian ice, frozen ice. I don't know. Frozen there's something ice. else like that. Yeah. I know there's another name for it. Popsicle's definitely a brand. Ice pop. Ice pop. Ice pop. No. Now we're just making things yeah. up. <laughs> <laughs> so, what is the ho the name of the holiday that you go on before you get married? Your bachelorette. Yeah, bachelorette party. Hen do. Hen do. Oh, yeah, and a hen party. Yeah. So, what, what, what is it for a guy? The bachelor. The ba bachelor party. <laughs> yeah, bachelor party. <laughs> direction of a clock. Clockwise. 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 Mm, what about the other way around? Counterclockwise. Counterclockwise. Anti-clockwise. Anti-clockwise. Anti That's weird. It That's weird. weird. Okay, so what would you say randomly at the end of the sentence in a question? What? Can you, uh, I don't know. What? <laughs> she means A. I'm, I'm throwing shade. <laughs> uh, a or hey. As a Canadian, we kind of like to... It's almost like saying you know. Mm. Or oh, like right. A. Right, or A or hey. We would definitely say hey. Like, um, it's just around the corner, hey? Yeah. Like, I feel like we would say that. Exactly. Like, where I come from. But just the way Canadians say it is so cute. <laughs> <laughs> or we would say right, like if you really yeah. want, like if you really want confirmation. It's not far, right? Oh. Mm. Yeah. But you use it a lot. Like, being around you, you use it for everything. Yeah. Like, you put right um, at the right, end. Right, let's go. Right. Righto. Yeah. Righto. Oh my god. And right replaces okay. Like for you, I feel like. Right. Like if I were to tell you a story. <laughs> right. Right. I feel like I feel like where I come from, like that would kind of be like rude if somebody's telling you a story and you're like, right, right. Yeah. It's like I'm not really listening, but I'm just like. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what is the name of the thing that you sit on maybe in front of the TV? Sofa. Sofa. You said it wrong. You're supposed to say couch. couch. Oh yeah, couch. 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 Yeah, yeah. We we do say couch. I We're European now. Sorry, no, you're, 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 in, you're in the club. I don't know why we both said sofa. Yeah, you definitely yeah. say couch more than sofa. Yeah, that's true. What's like the country's most popular sport? Football. Hockey. <laughs> it is. <laughs> is it really? Yeah. See, I would say football too, but it's a different kind of yeah, football team. Yeah, like yeah. Soccer. Soccer, yeah. 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 What's the name of the place where you would leave your car for an extended period of time? Parking lot. Parking lot. Or parking garage. Parkade. Parkade. What? Parkade. <laughs> Parkade. Okay, I've heard that. Car park. Car park. See, this is backwards, Cheryl. <laughs> car park. You Why? park the car in the parking garage. <laughs> no. Car park. Oh, yeah, it's true. That's very weird. Because we will have a different word for it. And it's, we're all speaking the same language. Mm -hmm. kind of yeah, it, it is weird. It sounds like slang. Like, it's like you cannot. It's like car park. Where are the car parks? I don't know. You're missing <laughs> something. It does sound odd to me as so. well. Let us know in the comments below what you would call that. <laughs> what would you wear on your feet if you're going to the gym? Runners. Gym shoes. Trainers. I guess you would also say sneakers. Yeah. Do you say sneakers? No. Do you say sneakers? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I say gym shoes, but people definitely say sneakers. So at a kind of fairground, what what's the thing that you get on a stick and it's pink and fluffy? Candy. Candy, candy. candy floss. Candy floss. I've heard that before. Yeah. Do people say fairy floss? Right? Okay. Is that English? I've heard fairy floss. You've heard fairy floss. Is that Australian? Yes. Is it Australian? It's fairy yeah. floss? Yeah. If I th if I hear floss, I just think like floss. Yeah. Like, oh, okay. Do you call that floss? Yeah. 
Okay. <laughs> Just checking. What's the white stuff that you would maybe put like, like a cleanser or a toner on a cleaner face with? The white stuff? Yeah. It's like the cotton ball. Cotton round. Cotton pen. Cotton ball. Cotton wool. Cotton, cotton wool. wool. No, that doesn't make sense because no. it's just too fabric. Yeah. Show. No way. <laughs> yeah. But it looks like a little clump of wool. I guess so. Is it? Yeah. It's, oh, okay. But so it's just a cotton ball. Like yeah. A ball of cotton. Yeah. It is kind of weird. But That's weird. I'll give you that one. That yeah. Weird. What would you use if you're going to blow your nose? I always say Kleenex, but that's a brand. I was gonna say Kleenex initially, but yeah. What would you Facial say? Facial tissue? I don't know. Kleenex? Yeah, tissue. Tissue. Yeah. Tissue. Tissue. Okay, yeah. Agree on that. yeah. Yeah. I know in Germany they say Tempo, because that's like the main brand. Oh, okay. Oh. What do you use to cut your food at the table? Like silverware. Fork and knife. Cutlery. You say silverware, come on. Yeah. No, we say cutlery. Cutlery! cutlery. <laughs> Silverware is, would be like if your in-laws are coming over or something. And you know, oh, okay. Just posh just stuff. Silverware. Yeah, like silver plates. Yeah, the so. special cutlery. Not that anyone has silver plates, but mm. that's what it conjures in my mind. Mm. Yeah. Silverware. No, silverware can be like plastic silverware. Like somebody could say, like, oh. do you have any plastic silverware? Oh, oh. plastic cutlery. Uh, yeah, plastic <laughs> yeah. cutlery. Wow. Okay. Cutlery. That sounds <laughs> so fancy to me. Yeah. That's funny that you guys think silverware sounds fancy and I think cutlery is like... Wow. wow. And what would you say if you were going to kiss with tongues? <laughs> French kissing. French kissing. Snogging. Snogging. <laughs> okay, never heard that. No. Never heard that. That sounds gross. Yeah, it sounds gross. <laughs> it sounds like... It kind of... Spoogery. Yeah, it sounds like <laughs> not. It kind of is. That's... What's the place called that you buy medication? The drugstore. Pharmacy. The chemist. Yeah. Oh. That's like oh. straight out of Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> or Shopper's Drug Mart. Yeah, Shopper's Drug Mart. No, I've made that. What's the main brand of chemists in your country? Walgreens? Shoppers. Boots. Boots. Oh, yeah, everyone yeah. knows boots. for drugs. If you watch like boots haul. any UK <laughs> channels, it's all about boots. Mm -hmm. I want to go to boots. Okay, what is this called? Bangs. Bangs. Fringe. Fringe. Yeah. Did you cut that yourself? Yeah. Really? Yeah. It looks so nice. Thanks. But yeah, I put on my Instagram, I was like, oh, I just cut my fringe. And people were like, what's a fringe? <laughs> they didn't know nothing. Fringe means like, how you describe fringe? Like, like you had a sweater and it had a fringe. Like it has like strings hanging down okay. for decoration. Okay. Yeah, fringe. I think we call that fringing as well. Do you say fringe benefits? Do you know what fringe benefits means? Do you know what fringe? No. Fringe benefits? <laughs> So like if you have a job and they offer you a gym membership and a discount at the local, I don't know, what bookstore, that would be like called Fringe Benefits? Yeah, no. No, you've never, I never, I never heard of it. Okay, okay. So after like a kindergarten, what's the name of the first school that you go to after that? Elementary Elementary. School? Primary school. Primary school. I've heard of that. I think that it depends on the school. Oh, yeah, that's true, definitely. I think it was like elementary school, middle school, high school. Yeah. Is that what you have, elementary? Yeah. And how old are you when you finish high school, typically? I was 17, but that's young. I was 17, but that's young. Yeah. So like 18. Mm -hmm. And for you, when you, it, you... When I was at school, it used to be 16, but they've upped it to 18. That's oh. like the required school. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So you finished at 16 with high school. Uh, yeah. Okay. And then you go on to do A-levels, which is technically still high school, but you just call it upper school or secondary. And did you have school uniforms? Yes. Did you have school uniforms? No. No. I'll send you a picture that you can put in. Okay, in perfect. Send it. Is it common then? Like, I think everybody. Yeah, has that's to what do I that. thought. So that would be like a private school thing. Yeah, hundred really? percent. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. yeah. No, for us, school. everybody wears school uniforms. Okay. I don't really understand why. It's kind of weird. I think that wouldn't have been the end of the world. Though. That would have been kind of nice. You don't have to worry about like yeah. what to wear and mm -hmm. stuff. I was always worried about that when I was younger. Yeah. That would have been kind of nice. Mm -hmm. Did you hate the uniforms at the time? Well, you don't know any different. Oh, okay. So it's just like, I don't know. I mean, they used to say that it would prepare us for the workplace, but... <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Did you have to iron them, Cheryl? We were told the same about cursive. Yeah. <laughs> Did you have to learn cursive? Yeah. Did you have to learn cursive? What is that? What's cursive? <laughs> handwriting. Oh, handwriting, yeah. But did, like... No, you just write so that it's legible. See, but you didn't have to learn... No. Cursive, but you had to learn cursive. Yeah, I forgot yeah. it now. But. Yeah, I forgot it. <laughs> so if you say someone is pissed, what does that mean? Angry or really drunk? Uh, really mad. Mine's drunk. Yeah. yeah. 
I don't think it really means drunk. So you're kind of like both. You're like yeah. an amalgamation yeah. of the two. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny. I think. No. Yeah. I'm trying to like justify. Yeah, you could say pissed means drunk, but I don't really think you could. You yeah. Could say that. I de I'm definitely like right on the fence. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> it just depends how they're saying it. And you guys don't say crackers and cookies the same way that we do. No. Like a cookie. What's a cookie to you? A cookie. <laughs> like I mean, a chocolate chip. Like a chocolate chip. Yeah. Like. And then what's a cracker? A cracker. <laughs> like a soda cracker. <laughs> She's so descriptive. <laughs> like like suck it like um way. like a premium plus. Like a soda cracker. You dip it in tomato soup. Like saltine cracker. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. say saltine cracker. Okay, what about like, do you have like triscuits and wheat triscuits? Yes. Those are crackers, yes. right? And for you, a cracker. Um, so it's like a, a dry biscuit. Like a dry, um, you put cheese on it or, uh, <laughs> I don't know, it's maybe salty and, or maybe has um, seeds on it. Okay, and a cookie is like... It's just American like an American American biscuit. Okay. Or you can get a, like if you went into a shop and asked to buy a cookie, you would get a big kind of round thing with chocolate chips in it. Okay, yeah, like a chocolate yeah, Like a very specific type of biscuit. Okay, okay. Oh. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this interesting or entertaining in some way. Don't forget to check out these two girls in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye! Certo, pessoal? O exercício aqui, ó, já que vocês sabem os vocabulários agora, é esse daqui, enquanto eu falo com meu amigo Diego. Read. Vocês vão reescrever esse diálogo principal, que era este, tá? que tinha um áudio, texto. Vocês vão descrever esse áudio para alguém, usando suas próprias palavras, entendeu? entenderam? Vocês vão explicar o que vocês entenderam aqui em inglês, usando suas próprias palavras. Ah, entendi que é isso, que é aquilo, que aconteceu isso e aquilo, usando o seu vocabulário. Entendeu? Ou seja, você vai dar uma, você vai, é, como é que faz? Fazer uma narrativa do que você entendeu. Beleza? Então é isso aí, pessoal. Vou aguardar aqui, enquanto eu troco uma ideia com o Diego.
Pessoal, alguma dúvida?
¿Está tranquilo? Ai, ai. E aí, pessoal, beleza? Tranquilo? Super raso. Tranquilo, mano? Então é o seguinte, brother. 5 e 40. Nossa, já? Como assim? Como assim? Não vou falar de novo, que nosso negócio é trocar ideia. Que veio pra cá, vai sofrer. Trocar ideia, trocar ideia. O pulso ainda pulsa. Calma aí que eu vou ter que achar um outro, outra parte do... O listening. Tá na pasta. Você gostava das aulas em casa? Sério? Vixe Maria. Agora tem um vídeo, né? Pra você completar aí, ó. Esse vídeo é tão curto. Você vai ver. Então, galera, galera, galera. 
vocês precisam assistir, vocês precisam assistir. Como é que é o nome do negócio lá? Ixi, eu esqueci o nome do desenho, enfim. Aí, ó, vocês precisam assistir esse vídeo e completar essas questões. E o vídeo vai estar exatamente aqui. Eu vou ter que fazer um Paranauê que nem já nível hard. Não, calma aí. Hum? Tá errado isso aqui. Eu estou no... Calma, audiovisual. Listen. Calma aí, o que que tá fazendo errado? Estou no capítulo 2. In the end. Espera aí, tem algo errado aqui que não está certo. Será que eu errei? Provável. Ah, esse mesmo, nada a ver. Viajei. Vamos lá. You were made to be ruled. In the end, it will be every man for himself. What do we do? We get ready. There was an idea to bring together a group of remarkable people. So when we needed them, they could fight the battles that we never could. Gentlemen, what are you prepared to do? No offense, but I don't play well with others. Big man in a suit of armor. Take that away, what are you? A uh, genius, billionaire, playboy, philanthropist. <laughs> If we can't protect the Earth, you can be damn sure we'll avenge it. Dr. Banner, your work is unparalleled, and I'm a huge fan of the way you lose control and turn into an enormous green rage monster. Thanks. You were made to be ruled. In the end, it will be every man for himself. What do we do? We get ready. There was an idea to bring together a group of remarkable people. So when we needed them, 
they could fight the battle. But we never could. Gentlemen, what are you prepared to do? No offense, but I don't play well with others. Big man in a suit of armor. Take that away, what are you? A uh, genius, billionaire, playboy, philanthropist. <laughs> We can't protect the Earth. You can be damn sure we'll avenge it. Dr. Banner, your work is unparalleled, and I'm a huge fan of the way you lose control and turn into an enormous green rage monster. Thanks.